I also got myself this hot comb by Wow, again from Amazon. Everything you can get from Amazon. I literally got Indomie the other day. I even got Maggie, Maggie Cube. They did not make it to the ground. Did not even make it inside my leg. This was definitely a fail. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So this is gonna be my favorites of 2019, my loves and my regrets as well. I don't have that many regrets to show you because a lot of them might end up selling or returning, but I do have some. But there were some things that I either started using last year or it came out last year that I really loved. So I'm gonna show you what they were. First one, literally in no particular order, are the Kiko HD Hydro Glosses. This has been out for a while. I don't know how long, but they've been out for quite a while. And I was, I literally only discovered them. Like it was crazy. These glosses, they look like this. These glosses are one of the best glosses out there. Are they drugstore? I don't know. They are very affordable. So maybe, yes, I guess, because they're like only $4.99. They are amazing. Like they stay glossy forever. I bought like six or seven shades, but I always go for these ones and I go for number two, which is more like a very quite light milky. It's not as, they're not as like opaque. So they can get away with like lighter shades. This is zero two. I absolutely love this with my nudes. And then we have 19 and then we have, I think, I think this is 20. So this is 19 and this is 20. Just show you the, if you can tell the difference. They have like 20, 20 has like gold, like specks of glitter in it. So, so nice. And then we have this peachy one, which is 08. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. If you haven't tried them out, honestly, please do so. For the majority of 2019, when I discovered them, I was rocking these lip glosses like, to death and then liquid lipstick i was using quite a lot as well was the huda beauty trendsetter i don't know what it was about this liquid lipstick but i kept on reaching for it and i don't have that many huda beauty liquid lipsticks this one really stood out to me i don't know why but i have it on today on top of that i have 19 it's like a rosy pink it's just really nice like it's really really nice and i've definitely done a few repurchases of this they do last quite a while as well so they don't run out real quickly but yes yeah, Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks are pretty good they're not like they don't feel like dry on the lips obviously when you apply lip gloss on top of it they do it's easy to rub off so they just feel really 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 smooth on the lips and I really really like them and a lip pencil I use the most I do have a second one which I don't have here which is a sleek one but no, this one is the Morphe one this is Morphe vibes also NYX Coco was another lip pencil I use the most and as you can see, it's, almost, it's literally almost run out, but I was just, I think, I feel like last year I was very, very safe with my lips. I think I must have rocked like the red lip like twice in the entire year. I was very, very just nude, nude pinks, nude browns, just in that family. I just kept it quite simple. I was doing, I literally was doing the same makeup like constantly. So I was always reaching for like my nudes. So I do have a nudes video, by the way. I do have like a video on my nude combinations, lip sticks, lip pencils, lip glosses. If you haven't checked it out, I will link it down below. I really like the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I was mixing two shades at the time because my skin, my shade was a mixture of two shades. But now I only use one shade, which is ATWO. It is quite orange but it's the closest in the entire like range of colors, range of shades. So HWO was what I used. I like it. It's not as matte matte as my Kate Kat Von D, but it's a really good matte foundation. So if you have oily skin, I definitely recommend this foundation. It's very weightless, doesn't feel cakey on the skin. You can build it up. So yeah, I think a lot of people also love this foundation as well. So if you haven't tried it out, definitely try it out. A concealer that has literally been my go-to, I think for the past two years. The Too Faced Born This Way Most Used Compton's Concealer. There were so many ones that came out, so many concealers came out. The Elf one, Elf Camo came out. The Juvia's Place one came out as well. But this, I just see myself always going back to. My under eye has always been so flawless with this concealer. I don't know what it is about the concealer, but it's just amazing. There's certain concealers that you have to like wait for a while, for, literally for a long time to dry and then you blend. But this one, I don't have to wait that long and it's just, it's, it's full coverage and it's like it's not streaky and it just blends really well. And I know that a lot of people love this, so I literally 
this is like one of the best concealers I've tried. My shade is Chestnut. Huda Beauty Tantor. So it's a contour, cream contour. Clearly I've been, you know, making the most out of this. This is in the shade Medium. I felt like Medium was more suitable for me. The one before that and the one after that just was a little bit too dark for me. So I always use um, Medium. I tend to cream contour and then set with a powder. You can obviously skip this step if you want to, but it just helps with like, you know, putting everything together. My contour, which you can't get here in the UK, it was it's my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, and this is the medium to dark one. So I got this when I was in this when I went to LA like a couple of years ago. So this is literally what I've been using to contour. I definitely want to try different ones. There's a couple of new drugstore ones as well, but in terms of what I was using the most, I'd probably say these two. Next is a setting powder, a loose setting powder, the Anastasia Beverly Hills deep peach powder this came out towards the end of last year as well but again i was literally using it every single time i had my makeup on so i would put this on and then put my sasha buttercup on top so this is more like i would say more of a subtle it has more of like a peachy undertone more of a subtle under eye so if you're not one for the yellow under under eye or the very very obvious under eye then i would <laughs> Then I definitely recommend this one, but I honestly wish, I don't know what it was, but together with the Sasha one, I liked how my under eye looked. You can see it's literally almost, almost done. Never got around to getting the Pat McGrath one, I just felt like, ugh, ugh, it's a lot for powder. So if you don't have Pat McGrath budget, honestly, ABH works. I think Morphe do it too. I haven't tried it, so I can't really comment on how, in the quality of it, but Morphe does, does have their version of this peachy, powder so i guess try it out i don't know I'm, I'm guessing this is a little bit more expensive than morphe speaking of morphe this palette was also another one of my go-to's i think mid into 2019 it is a hot mess but just to show you that i have actually used it I, you can tell which ones i have reached for the most the black shade did break i feel like all my palettes that have black in it a lot of them the black just keeps just seems to break but anyway this is what it looks like it's a mixture of like browns purples blues and uh, yeah, just like your, it has like your natural colors on this side and more like purples and blues on the end. I know people, some people are not fans of more people. Honestly, I really like this. I really like their shadows. Like, I honestly like their shadows. If I had to pick between like Revolution and Morphe, I'd go for Morphe. In terms of the quality, I feel like they're quite pigmented. So this, yeah, this is the 35V palette, the artistry palette, but yeah. Just to show you that again. So yeah, the ones down here, you can tell that the ones I've been using a lot. A lot of my like transition shades, my, so right now I do have this palette on my eyes as well. So I have this one, transition, well, sometimes I mix the two together and I have the brown on top, the one on top of that is a kind of like a, like a cranberry brown-ish. And then I deepened it with like a darker brown. On my lids, I have this one. So it's like a it's like a bronzy type shade but yeah literally this palette i've been using a lot it is battered and bruised i did go back to buy i did go out to get a new one as well but yeah honestly if you haven't tried morphe i would honestly recommend them it's up to you not by force but i do like morphe palettes when it comes to highlighters i didn't really go out to get anything because honestly and i'm not even being biased i love my collaboration like highlight palette because it has everything I want. This is a brand new palette. I just thought I'd show you because mine is like, it's a, it's a hot mess. This is what it looks like. Oh, the lighting is so like washing off, but it's like a quad of four different highlighter shades. I have two palettes and this is number two. This is my collaboration with Black Up. Just in case you're new on my channel and didn't know I had a collaboration product, I do. So yeah, this is my highlight. And honestly, I will never buy another palette again, I guess, until mine actually runs out. I do have like a few backups left. I did not use anything else. I love this palette. I love a lot of work went into it and just obviously trying to get the right shade together and they literally complement themselves. So I have the gold shade I use for my brow bone and my inner corner like my tear ducts and then the one here i use for like my bridge of my nose and it was to highlight on my cheeks i use the two the top i use the two on the top 
and then obviously if I want more of a subtle highlight I go for the bronzy I'd go for the bronzy shade here it honestly guys it depends but I absolutely love this palette I literally did not use any of the palettes or highlighters all of last year I just did to the point like if it works like why why go for anything else so yeah I will continue to use this so I thought let me give it another shameless plug another shout out this year this blush had to get a mention this is literally one of the best blushes I've ever seen and it's by Marina Beauty and this is the chocolate blush right now it is sold out but I was able to get my hands on one this blush is amazing it's like it's like brown with like gold flecks like it's that's it's so like so 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 subtle I have it on today you probably can't tell my original one shattered and I just like I have to get another one it is so 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 pretty so pretty if you have this and you haven't used it please try it out you won't be disappointed you could even contour with it like it's a like I love it I absolutely love it. it is so so flattering on my skin tone darker skin tones like you need to try it that's that for beauty I didn't really have that much next one is like I guess skincare skincare this is my sunscreen this is the Palmer's cocoa butter even tone sun care they did have a cream version but I think they discontinued it and I have to say I love the spray much better I felt like when I used the cream the, the moisturizer on my hands and feet I did see a bit of like a grayish tint I know that that moisturizer doesn't usually do that on my body I feel like if you have a darker skin tone because my hands and my feet tend to be a little bit darker i don't know i need to sort that out i'm getting some like some treatments done my feet are quite dark i've gotten quite dark like over the past few months just being away and stuff the spray i feel like the spray has like a low-key glow in it i don't know what it is but it's so nice the only thing is it's it's a spf 30 and the the lotion was spf 50 but honestly it really doesn't matter how high it is it does it still does the job but it's so moisturized and it smells of cocoa butter it's got shea and coconut oil in it and apparently it also helps to prevent dark spots on even skin tone premature aging it's it's honestly amazing so i got mine from amazon and it's been my go-to i absolutely love it it's just so much easier to apply than having to like cream your entire body this is just like quick spray i mean you, you do kind of still have to rub it in but it's just it's just a lot better than the cream so if you're looking for something that's like not gray and cast get ready and just looking off good for our skin tone and also like has like these extra like ingredients in it like share and coconut oil vitamin e please 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 have a look at this check this out you would definitely love it so i've been using the ghost bun glue and i find that it just works so much better in terms of how flat and how well my my um frontals lay this is a really really good product it takes off like the residue when, when you take off your wig and it's like some, you still got some stuff in your scalp this takes off so effortlessly not so much the glue on the lace though i will do a video on how i like how i clean my lace and everything but this takes off the glue and like the spray and residue from your scalp from your head whatever your if it goes in your braids you know that kind of stuff so this is the nivea daily essentials double effect eye makeup remover but it works really well to take off your glue so check it out it's like three pounds it's really really cheap so try it out another thing that i think came out last year that really really stepped up my lace frontal game is the wig guru lace tint i don't know what was used to make these shades but they have been really really good in terms of how well my lace frontals lay and i actually use two shades i do mix and make my own custom so this one is crap caramel frappe and something mocha and it makes a little bit of mocha because mocha is just too red it's actually far too red and i mix a little bit of that with caramel frappe even if your lace is like a light brown lace or transparent lace this this is just amazing i mean it does run out quite quickly depending on how what how many times you do spray your lace but honestly it is amazing I also got myself this hot comb by Wow again from Amazon. Everything you can get from Amazon. I literally got Indo Media every day from Amazon. I even got Maggie, Maggie Cube. This I got from Amazon and it just really helps to like flatten your wigs. If your wigs are sitting a little bit too high, a little bit of a mountain going on, this really does help. It just makes everything so sleek and flat and perfect. Do you guys remember this when you were growing up? Like every black household had a hot comb. 
the only thing is it wasn't plugged in it was literally put on a stove that was used to like straighten your natural hair this definitely does the trip trick and i don't know anyone that does not have this we had like a week of summer literally like a little random like heat waves this was amazing and i've been using it since then i take it out with me everywhere i go take it out to the club i don't even care i'm that girl who has a fan and trust me there will be five other girls in the club with a fan in their hand and it has really been a lifesaver i took this with me to ghana because ghana it is hot ghana was so much hotter than Nige, like it was just crazy crazy humid but this saved me it did definitely ruin my wigs ruined my wigs but it definitely saved me from like you know my lace frontal lifting or my makeup like melting off my face literally another amazing amazon find i also sometimes use it to like dry my concealer whenever i'm doing my makeup just to like speed things up but this saved my life like i don't know what i would have done this summer and in night and in ghana if i did not have this i knew i had to pack this with me i'm just gonna do a quick fashion find this bag which i showed you in my last um tote in my last like luxury haul i guess luxury in like high street haul this has been such a lifesaver on my trips and my travels it's it literally stores everything and i've been wearing it to death to death and i just love how amazing it is like this is like the louis vuitton tote and yeah i literally carry it as my hand luggage i put my laptop in there it has a bigger strap as well and um, definitely one of my best purchases of last year i didn't i didn't buy a lot of high did i buy a lot of luxury stuff i lie i did buy quite a few luxury things and i were and i was happy with them with most of them i bought this towards the end of the year so i don't know if that counts as my mostly used item but i was using this a lot not just for traveling a couple things that i was like why did i buy <laughs> i don't know if you guys remember a while ago i did a video on like i don't know if the i had these jeans these balloon jeans that i got from like some high-end brand attico but i got it from moda operandi please tell me where i was gonna wear these jeans to i was so excited to buy them since that video i have not put my legs in these jeans like i i haven't worn them they have been in the drawer like i don't know what in the clownery i was thinking that i was gonna rock these and just be like slaying on the ground they did not make it to the ground did not even make it inside my leg this was definitely a fail definitely a regret i don't know they were like 300 pounds i don't know what i was thinking but at the time it seemed to it made sense but now not so much so yeah i probably will sell them can you even see what i mean like look at how like it goes out like balloon jeans were a thing last year but these just weren't it i should have listened these weren't it these trainers are kind of like a love hate you either love them or you hate them pretty much and for a while i was like these are really ugly these are ugly trainers but then the white ones came out yeah so yeah this is the balenciagas triple s trainers the white ones came out and i was literally i ran straight to farfetch they were doing a 15 percent off i was like yes i'm gonna get it on sale i've literally worn it like twice if if that like i have not they are so heavy like they are so bogus they're like they're like clown shoes and i don't know if you have like i have big feet anyway but these are heavy heavy they're so heavy and um i literally have not worn them like i've been in two minds where i sell them are people gonna want to buy them are there something that people want to buy i don't know like i've gone on like i've been to ebay i've been on to depop and i've seen quite a few of these trainers and no one's buying them i don't know if people are buying them i just haven't noticed but definitely an impulse buy definitely something i wish i didn't get however however i have two other pairs of the exact same type of shoe obviously different colors but yeah those ones i feel like i definitely rinsed out a lot more so these ones i'm just like should i sell them should i not should i just like wait like you know try and style them somehow but they're honestly holding them up right now they're so heavy and i don't know this is definitely something I, I feel like i was definitely heavily influenced by instagram to get these and they're just i don't know however but these pair this one which is like a gray i guess knit grayish like a gray the gray version of this 
somehow weighs a lot less, a little bit less than the white ones. And these ones I wore definitely to there before I got the third pair. <laughs> but this one I actually got a full price. I think I sold some stuff on my Depop and I was able to get these. And I, I actually really like them. I wear them a lot. I wear them a lot. And when I say a lot, I wear them like random errands just out of the house. Like why am I wearing designer shoes to go to the post office, please? I don't know. But I've literally made the most of these trainers and definitely, I definitely, definitely don't regret buying these. Also have them in black and Again, the black ones for a while I didn't wear until I realized how to style them. Because of the shape of them, there's certain things you can't wear. I feel like they this the black ones for me suit more like leggings and like tight trousers. And then the grey ones, like suit joggers or whatever you want to wear them with. I felt like for a while I couldn't wear them because they just they, they weren't working with joggers. And then I changed the laces. You can change I think they come with they come with two different lace colours as well, black and white. I changed the lace and I liked how it looked. So again, I'm happy with this one. I was able to get it half price because I have someone who works for Brands Fashion and she got it half price for me. So the fact that I was able to get it half price, I don't feel too bad that I didn't wear it as much, but definitely I've been reaching for these trainers as well. I see them on Instagram. I see them on like really, really, I, I see them on like smaller frame girls. I'm like, how are you lifting your legs? How are you lifting your feet to drag these? Like, like, they're literally, I feel like I have like bricks, like blocks on my feet and they're not, they're not as comfortable as I would love them to be. But the other ones, they don't feel as heavy so I'm able to wear them a lot. But I guess with these ones, if you do have them or want to get them still, just tighten the laces really tight and then be able to hold them. But honestly, like I could have done without. That's it for the video. I hope you liked it. I will be doing some more makeup tutorials hopefully in the next few videos let me know what you want to see more of on this channel and i will try and get them out for you but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys